Recently, Elementor has gone ahead and introduced Navigator. Navigator is a way for you to go ahead and rearrange different sections, columns, and even elements all around on the same page. And if you visit their site, you can go ahead and get a little bit of a preview of what the Navigator does. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to enable it, how to use it wisely, and the different things that you can actually do when the Navigator is turned on. So we're going to navigate to our page and we have our regular page right here with all of our content and you can see the different sections that we have below. You can see all of those and you're going to notice at the bottom left hand corner that there is a new icon called navigator and you can go ahead and click on that to enable the navigator and what this does is it gives you a pop up which you can go ahead and click and drag anywhere on your screen to make the navigator show up. And you can actually go ahead and pin this into the side of your site. When you go over ahead and pull that to the right hand side of your screen, you'll see the little blue bar and you can go ahead and let go. And it's going to push your content over and so that you can have this always showing like there is over here on the left hand side. So you're going to see the different sections that we have here. And let's go ahead and scoot that in some. So you'll see the different sections that we have here. And that we, when we hover over them, we have the eyeball icon. And we have a few other options that we can do. So we can actually click on this arrow. And it's going to allow us to drop this down and see all of the different items that are inside of this one section. And right now we're working with this section right here. So we can actually see different things. And we can see all of our spacers, the images, things of that nature. So our spacer... We have the image, we have the headings, and then we have our buttons. So you can see how those are, and then another spacer down here. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and maybe rearrange a couple things, uh, rename the sections so that we know which ones are which, and then we can actually rearrange some of the content. So let's go ahead and start by renaming these sections. So if we have the section here, we can actually double click on the word section. And that's going to allow us to edit the title for this section. So we can name this hero image and click the enter button. Now, if we go down to this section right here, we'll see that this section is this part right here, this three column section right here. So we can double click on that and call this the three columns. We can actually do this for the rest of our sections. So we have this section right here. And when we click on this, it actually highlights it over here in blue. So we could just name this a spacer. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing with the um, the rest of the columns. Let's see, we help gardens thrive. And then we have some more of the items down here. So we have another spacer section right here. Then we have the products and so on and so on. So you guys get the idea of that. So you can go ahead and double click on these and rename those. Now let's go back to the We Help Gardens Thrive. So that's this one right here. And you can actually drop this down and we'll see that we have the two columns here. We can actually rename each column if we want to do that. So we have the image and we have the content just so that we know which one is which. And we can actually go ahead and go even further into each column by clicking this button and it will go ahead and drop down and show what is inside of each section right here. And look at that, we even have an inner section right here for this part right here. So we can go ahead and we can have it show that section as well. Let's go ahead and rename that to the signature. So we have that. So we have the signature here. We can actually go ahead and drop that down and we have the two columns. And like I said, you guys can even go even further down into naming these columns if you wanna do so. So we have all of that. We can actually go ahead and we have our different columns right here. And if we wanna go ahead and, and rearrange these, we have the ability to go ahead and click and drag like this to, re to rearrange them. But if we want to work inside of the navigator, we can just go ahead and switch them over just like that. And all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging this tab down so that it just goes over top and underneath you can see that. Go ahead and switch it over like that. Now we can go ahead and switch that back and then we can have the same ability inside of the columns. So maybe if we want to go ahead and swap a couple of things, we can go ahead and do that. We have the, the heading right here. 
Okay, so we can go ahead and take this heading and put it at the top. So we have this up the top. We can move this anywhere we want to move it as long as we have it selected. And then we can go ahead and put it wherever we need to put it. Then we have that signature section down here. We can actually go ahead and click and drag that up higher if we want to. Put it down in between each of the elements. And then we have our social icons. We can actually go ahead and just move that as well. So we have the ability to go ahead and move those over here, as well as we can still move them over here if we want to. We have all of that ability. But if it's easier for you, then definitely go ahead and use this navigator to go ahead and make it so that you can move it over here on the right hand side. So we have that ability. Uh, the only, it's not the only way to access, access this is from over here on the top, on the bottom left hand corner. You can actually right click on the content anywhere and just go down to the navigator section. We'll go ahead and click on that. And that's going to bring up the navigator as well. So if I exit out of the navigator, right click on the content and click navigator, it's going to pop up over here. And we can go ahead and click on this button right here if we want to expand all of these sections. So that way we can see what we're working with. And this is super useful if, for example, you want to go ahead and select this one. It brings you right to that heading. And let's say we want to put this up here in this section. So we can go ahead and scroll up here and just put this right up here in the three columns. We have that column. We can go ahead and put that right there at the very top of that column. So it makes it easier to go ahead and just rearrange all of your items so you don't have to click it and then kind of scroll down at the bottom, lose it a little bit, keep scrolling, and then eventually place it where you want to put it. So you don't have to do all of that. Okay, and so if we want to get this back into the pop-out mode, we can actually go ahead and just click the navigator, click and drag it so you, the, you see the four arrows that pop up. So we'll click and drag that and that just pops right back out into a pop-up so we can go ahead and put this wherever we want to put it um, it doesn't have to be on the right hand side it can be over here on the on the left uh, it's not going to stay there but obviously it's it's a good spot to put it if you want to and then of course if you want to put it back you can go ahead and click and drag that back over there now we have the ability to go ahead and hide the sections so we can go ahead and have a section here the hero image and we have this little eyeball icon we can go ahead and click on this and this hides that section right there okay so we can go ahead and click and hide that and then we can go ahead and click to reveal that back and now if we update our site and we preview the changes you'll notice that it's still there this is not the way to hide the section from the front end but rather just hide it so that it, maybe it's not distracting or maybe if it's a negative common uh, column and it's just hard to work around and you just don't want to see that for right now and it's better if you just don't have that in the picture then you can go ahead and turn that off temporarily and if you forget to turn it back on no worries because like I said if you go into your front end it's still going to be there you won't have to worry about that if you refresh the page and you forgot to show the hero image back well don't worry about that because you'll see that we go ahead and we have that hero image back loaded right there so we don't have to worry about it if we accidentally forget to show it again we don't have to worry about it on the front end and we don't have to worry about it when we reload the builder so it's always going to be shown default that's a quick look at the navigator with elementor um, there's a lot of different things that we can do with this. It's great to be able to have this to rearrange all of your items and to be able to do that. And so if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of any new videos that we post on the channel. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.